Popeye, my friend. Cobra 29 is fixed. I'll take a second and thank Truck CB Sales for the help on that. And your fat boy. 2x8. It's all fixed and back up 10-8 and square. Don't anybody get the wrong idea. I don't work on radios. Gentleman wanted this to be matched with that, and when it got here, it was burned up. So we here at BBI, we just took care of it. We're going to start from the beginning. We're going to run with our 100 watt slug today. Use a 1,000 watt slug, 5 watt slug in reverse. That's it. No Soltronics, no 955. Turn that on so we got a voltage reference. Run on 14 volts today. Okay, so amps off. Oh. Jump over there. Spectrum analyzer and fluke O scope. Okay. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. About 40, 45 watts. RMS power. Hello, audio. Looks like about 11 watts. That's impressive. Anyhow, we're going to work with that in peak. Fat boy. Okay. Now, when Popeye sent this to me, he said he couldn't get more than about 1,200 out of it when it was working. And what ended up being the problem was the output combiner. I don't know who originally did it because this has all been changed. The wire colors are different than what's in the rest of the box. It has been changed, and it was wrong. It had too many turns in it, so I took a turn out of it, replaced that resistor. The output tunes on each one of the four-pill sections that makes up the eight was wrong. The match between the two-pill section and the eight-pill input was Bjorked beyond repair, had too much inductance, and it's all fixed and squared up. The input tune coming into the amp was through the roof. I had this packet of resistors between the two here to try and knock down the drive. Well, you pull that out and you change your input tune, and it all works great. Got rid of the little 22 gauge wire carrying a current over here, and uh, put a couple hundred. 100 ohm 5 waters in there to dissipate the excess energy. And pow, baby! She's back up and running. So let's see what this does. Now we're on the 1000 watt scale. Nice 300 watt dead maw. Make her super wide. Hello, audio. The second order harmonic. This is our primary talking frequency. This is our huge second order harmonic. I'm going to turn the gain down a little bit. Remember, the single line here is background noise. Hello, audio. Now, in all fairness, Turn the fat boy box off. Hello, audio. So, the second order harmonic is from the amplifier, or from the radio, I mean. All in all, though, it's a loud radio. This thing is putting out. So, we're going to go over here, we're going to flip this up to 2x. And we're going to use this little sticky to help everybody understand. The needle comes past a little sticky. That means it's putting out more than he ever seen out of this 2x8 on 16 volts when he had it running. Hello, audio. Oh, look at who come out to play. Hello, audio. Give me just a minute. We're going to volt it up a little bit. Can you hear it? It's a 
big 500 amp supply I got going on. Okay, now he runs his stuff on 16 volts. Now we're at 16 volts. Let's see what happens if the little needle comes out past the little check pink sticker. Hello, audio. It's 1900 bird peak watts. Hello, audio. Popeye, it's fixed up, man. I'm going to pull the 100 watt slug out. I'm going to grab the flat 5 watt slug and slip this in the hole. And now we're going to look at the input tune on the amp. Hello. Always look at reflect in RMS. Hello, audio. Hello, audio. Hello, BBI. Less than a watt. Hello, BBI. Hello, BBI. Popeye, you're all fixed up, buddy. I'll box it up and send it to you Monday. Appreciate you sending it up to let me take a look at it. My name is BBI. Without a doubt, I am the biggest mud duck in Idaho. Come check us out. www.bbiamps.com Appreciate all the projects. I'll see you guys. Bye.